Hey everyone, it's Mike coming in from Cavill. Right now we are super pumped about the 50 Club, the productivity booster. Basically enabling you guys to get more bang for your buck from your people while simultaneously increasing your local market share and giving you guys more time back. But there are concerns to the very survival of businesses in the hospitality industry right now. No one needs to have this as a new story. We already know. There's been 3.5% compound growth over the last few years. Would you believe it? There's been industry revenue of 21.3 billion pounds would you believe that one thing you will believe that there's 2.8 percent annual fall in restaurant numbers 768 fewer restaurants compared to just march last year there's 15 closures a week god damn it that's up from around about two or three but the flip side to that coin is there's been 1300 more restaurants created and established since march 2014 is it really all that bad guys right now right now the market is going through a tremendous course correction we have far too much demand far too much supply and far too little demand there's not enough people out there for all the umpteen cafe shops that are down your high street right now to get coffee from the four or five different coffee shops that are there right now your team turn over in the hospitality industry every 12 months the average life cycle of a person in your business is just 12 months your entire team could be completely different in a year what difference does that make to your business so what do we do what is the 50 club and what's the productivity booster guys right now there's two sides to this coin that we look at one is how can you get more bang for the buck out of your people and measure the productivity of your staff by how many customers they're serving by the hour um, how productive they're being how capable they're being can you reduce the cost it costs you to serve your customers before they've even ordered anything and by the way if we can increase the happiness and the culture and the engagement of your staff does that mean that they'll give a happier and better app atmosphere and feeding to your customers does that mean that your customers are experiencing better atmosphere and a better service and a better environment that they'll be more likely to come back if they're more likely to come back are they more likely to tell their friends about you and if they're more likely to tell their friends about you isn't your local market share more likely to increase it sounds simple but one of our analysis this contact this this calculator that we have right now with four simple questions we can evaluate roughly the impact that we can have on your business this is an extract from one person that we've spoken to recently from their business live on figures that they thought were right in their business and we believe that we can increase their profits potentially by over 40 thousand pounds per year now even if we could just do half of that to their business they said that would be astronomical the difference it would make to bring their staff value up the, the productivity from them up to 68 percent an increase of 18 percent guys you can see right now that the staff here are serving two customers per hour now if you were this business would you want them serving more i would I would because I can see below that the cost to serve these customers is £4.25 and that's before they've ordered a damn thing from me. Guys, if we can impact on that, could we put more money in your pocket? Damn sure we could. Now there's some major competitors out there. The market's on a huge course alteration right now and everybody's eyes are closed. They're closed because they're not seeing that the people are the keys to success. They're also the causes to failure, even if one of those people that's doing it is you yourself as the owner. Guys, right now it's so easy to focus on the rates have gone up. Um, the cost of food has gone up because the value of the pound has gone down. Do you realize that the minimum wage is increasing every year? Yeah, I did. Do you guess what though? Someone's still making money, so why isn't it not you? The staff will always come before your customers. If you don't employ anybody, you're not gonna be serving anybody. 
So they've got to come first in that food chain. If you look after your staff, they're going to look after your customers. If you put them first, they're going to put your customers first. And your competitors, damn sure, have got their eyes shut to that one. And every problem you have in your business, you better be damn sure is a people problem. Because right now, you cost issues around rates, around wages, around food prices. Cost problems are not the problem. They're not the problem. The problem you have in your business is a revenue problem. And revenue will be driven by the people in your business. Every problem in your business is a people problem. Guys, I just want to thank you. And if you're interested right now in joining the 50 Club, then we need to get on board and we need to get this sorted straight away because we can deliver those profits for your business. What difference would that make? Even if it was just a third of that figure on there, what difference would that make to your business?